Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Oh my god. Who am I? It's been a while since I've played. Ethan? Ethan? Ethan! This is not in the same session as last time, so this is in a completely different session. Come on, let me through! Fine. I'll go this conveniently placed stairway and entrance. Weird. Holy cow. Those four people. Can't open that for some reason. <laughs> Might as well go down. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Not good at all. That's obviously the direction they want me to go in. That doesn't look like returning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here. Nope. Can't go that way. I'm trying to remember what happened last time. It's been
You wouldn't let me go very fast. I absolutely hate when games do that when they like take away all of your speed. Oh, I hate that. I feel like someone's going to attack me every time there's like a cutscene like this. And like the whole game stops to do that. I had the sinking feeling that someone's gonna like. <laughs> attack me while I'm climbing up. You said we could be a family. What are you talking about? You. what I got. Herb. That's good. Always good. Box, but nothing to bash it open with. They're not really going to go out of their way to get They're going to go there, and they're going to turn right around. That is my gap to get in here, and close the door. Handgun. The no ammo that I have. Gonna save.
Now I have no ammo. Great. I have no ammo and It's too late for us, but at least I can know what happened here. I was right. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep, and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was it all in my head? I woke up around 1930. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there's there was something going on down below maybe a riot he looked in pale in the face he told me to go check it out but he never came back it must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream, I went to the laundry, laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me, a huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm getting out of here. I'm going out there now, and I've written everything I know. Gonna find key. Why would I need to inspect this? Does it have... Can I... Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here day after day just the same old sea although there's one thing that's different this time we have some passengers sailing with us which hardly ever happens it's a couple with a little girl i think they're distant relatives of the captain imagine traveling a tanker instead of a passenger ship they must be hard up i tried talking to the little girl earlier and her dad just gave me this nasty look What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Miss you. Love, Jim. Oh, kinda sweet and sad that he had to die. I mean, he obviously died.
Where was that save file? I can manage to reach that save file. Then maybe. save once again and then I'm going to end this video. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.